Hey everybody, in today's video, we're gonna talk about geese on the homestead. Geese are just one of those things where experiences and opinions vary so wildly. Like for me, for instance, I absolutely adore our geese. I love them so much that if something happened to them, by the end of the day, I would be ordering replacements for them. I find them that vital to our farm. My husband, on the other hand, I'm pretty sure he daydreams ways that he can make them disappear and make it look like it was an accident. So we have a trio of buff saddleback Pomeranian geese, and we bought them along with seven of their siblings from Welp Hatchery as day old hatchlings. And I actually made a video on that experience. I'll link that down in the description box below. So let's start with the pros. Most people buy geese to act as a poultry guardian for their free ranging birds. And I can tell you from the time that the geese have been adults, we have noticed a decrease in predator attacks around here. They haven't completely eliminated them, but there has been a huge decrease. Geese act as guardians in a couple of different ways. So they'll alert the other birds to oncoming danger, and they'll also actually physically chase off things as well. The best way I can describe it is they make a ruckus in response to another ruckus. So I found that they're most effective against the wildlife that like to be unnoticed and in the quiet. So things like deer, raccoons, and foxes. They can also act as the geese police and they'll break up fights between roosters and drakes. That being said, geese would not stand a chance against a larger predator like a loose dog or a coyote. So they do rely on us for a little bit of protection, especially at night. Which leads to my next pro, which is their housing requirements is much easier compared to a chicken or a duck. Since geese will chase off the smaller predators we have around here, like the raccoons and the possums, we've kept them just in a five foot chain link pen with an open top. Um, we've kept them in that pen for well over a year now and we haven't lost a single one. Now until they're almost fully adult sized, we did keep them in a traditional chicken coop that was fully enclosed to give them protection from predators um, because a raccoon definitely would go after a gosling. As far as shelter requirements, they're also very easy because they refuse to use any type of shelter, at least ours do. It doesn't matter if it is blizzard, if it's thunderstorming, if it's hailing, they refuse to go in any type of enclosure. So currently for a shelter, all that we use is just a good windbreak and a thick layer of straw in the winter time. They will use a small shelter um, to create a nest and lay their eggs in, but other than that, they refuse to go in. So their setup is very easy. From a prepper perspective of homesteading, um, another great benefit of geese is the bulk of their diet is just grass. Really the only time of the year where we have to regularly supplement them with grain is the winter. On our property, we have about two acres around our pond where the geese primarily hang out. And as a trio, that's more than enough lawn to keep them sustained the majority of the year. Um, we do still have to mow. So um, I think that we could really probably triple the amount of geese that we have and still not have to feed them any extra just based off of the land that we have. In fact, geese are such good grazers that if you had a little lawn area that you didn't want to bother mowing with, instead of putting sheep or goats out there where you're gonna to have to feed them hay and worry about worming them and stuff, um, which can get very costly, I just throw some geese out there. If you have enough, they very easily can keep an area mowed for you most of the year and feeding them over winter is gonna be way cheaper than buying hay. Another pro from a financial perspective is how easily their goslings sell. So we sold all their siblings that we decided we didn't want to keep. And then we also bred them for two years and we sold all their goslings for $20 a piece. And I think out of all the different poultry that I sold, the goslings sold the easiest. Um, I, I never had extras that I couldn't get rid of. I never had to lower my price on them or anything like that. Um, they went immediately. So um, if you're looking for something to breed and maybe recoup some of the costs for the grain that you spend on them over the winter, um, geese I think are the way to go. Another pro is just how funny they can be. They each have their own personality and it can vary wildly. I think that's why people have such different opinions about geese as it depends on if you end up with a sweet one or a jerk, but they're just hilarious. We had one, it was one of the original ones that we had bought from the hatchery. Um, we nicknamed him Trash Can. Um, we ended up selling him because he was a gray and we ended up keeping um, the buffs only to breed. So he had to go. I was very sad about it though, but we called him trash can because he just had this weird infatuation with trash can lids. Anytime one would blow off in the wind, he would just spend all day out there with a big webbed feet 
and he would just go in circles on the trash can lid. He just thought that was the funnest thing ever. It was so funny and it was so cute. Um, trash can, wherever you are out there, I hope you're living your best goosey life with all the trash can lids um, that you could ever want. But um, yeah, they're just, they're really funny and I, I love it. They can be very dog-like, especially if you raise them up from a gosling and they're just, they're so cute. They're so funny. And my last pro that I have is that they're just easier to manage compared to other poultry. Geese are overall just less flighty compared to chickens. Um, they're easy to herd around if you walk behind them. Um, they'll just walk wherever it is that you're herding them. You can teach them to come whenever they're called. Um, we did that with treats. Their favorite treat is bread. They don't get it very often. So we'll just yell out, goose, goose, goose. And they'll come flying, even if they're on the pond, they'll still leave the pond um, for some bread. So they're very smart. Um, they can be trained to come when you need them to, which is really nice on days whenever they need to go up earlier than sunset. So next we're gonna talk about the cons. And the number one con that was at the very top of my list is the mess. Geese produce an astronomical amount of poop. Like it's unbelievable. You would not think that three geese would be able to create that much waste, but they 100% do. I'm gonna insert a clip to the porch of our pole barn and show you where they have just pooped all over it. And as you can see, the concrete is stained from their poop. Um, it does not come out easily at all. Another thing about the goose poop, dogs love it. Um, our dogs, if they we're going on a walk, you can tell immediately whenever they come across a pile of goose poop because they lose their minds over it. Um, they do eat some, they, they've never gotten sick from it, but um, it's just another thing to take into consideration if you've got dogs. Another mess that I feel like nobody mentions is the twice a year molt, um, which is where they lose their feathers. Since our birds are light colored, it literally looks like a massacre occurred in our yard. Every year, whenever we have visitors in the midst of molt, it never fails. Someone will ask, oh my gosh, did something come and kill a bunch of your chickens? Uh, because there's just white feathers everywhere. Again, it, just like the poop, like I don't know where all these feathers come from, but geese produce an insane amount of feathers and it just, it makes a huge mess. It's very noticeable. Um, of course, they eventually break down, but um, for a while there, your, your yard's gonna look really messy. Kind of tying in with the messiness is also their destructiveness. Um, whether you want them to or not, they will prune your shrubs and trees if they can reach them. Um, especially peach trees, I learned that the hard way. Any leaves or twigs that they can reach, they will rip them off. They just like to grab a hold of things and just keep pulling until something happens. Um, I don't know what it is that they're hoping is gonna happen, but um, they can be very destructive. We had a brand new grill we set out on the porch of our pole barn. And after about a month of being out there, they had pulled on the wire that connected to the igniter so many times that they had broken it. So um, that only lasted about a month before they destroyed something. So um, they can be very destructive. Sometimes it's very expensive and other times it's just very annoying. Another con, and I think this is most people's main complaint, is their attitude. Um, they can be hateful at times. Some are more aggressive than others. I found that the ganders tend to be more aggressive and they're especially aggressive during breeding season. Late winter to late spring, that's when you're most likely to get a bad attitude from them. They like to put their head down, they'll hiss at you. They'll occasionally try to bite you, um, which I think is funny. They don't have teeth, so they're not gonna actually hurt you. But um, you know, if you have little kids that are easily intimidated, um, geese will definitely try to dominate over them. So that's just something to take into consideration as well. As far as keeping them with other poultry, geese, due to their size and that attitude, they're always gonna be at the top of the pecking order. So you do wanna make sure that your housing situation has enough space to where the smaller birds can get away from the geese. Um, we've never had a problem with a goose injuring another bird, um, but it's definitely possible if they aren't able to get away from each other. This next one isn't a huge con, but it just is something to take into consideration, and that's that they are only a seasonal layer. So you're only gonna get eggs from them late winter to maybe late spring. Um, you can extend the laying season a little bit by gathering the eggs every single day and keeping them from getting broody that way. But um, for the most part, you're only gonna have a short season of eggs available from them. 
This can make geese pretty hard to get. Um, you know, if you decide you want geese in the fall, you're probably gonna have to wait until spring before you're able to get any. And it's also a consideration if you're planning on eating their eggs. And earlier how we were talking about the financial pro of them being easy to sell, um, that does limit the amount of money you can make because you're not gonna be able to sell goslings year round. Another con is depending on where you're at, geese can be pretty hard to find. Um, I know here in central Indiana, I had a heck of a time trying to find any Pomeranian breeders. So that's why I ultimately decided to order from a hatchery. Um, nine times out of 10, if I can, I will try to buy from a local breeder before I go to a commercial hatchery. But in this situation, there just wasn't any option. My local farm stores like Tractor Supply and Rural King, they do sell goslings from hatcheries, um, but the only breeds that they would ever carry would be Africans and Chinese. And I know some people really like those breeds, um, but for me personally, I didn't really care for the way that they looked. I like the more traditional like heritage breeds, I guess, um, like the Toulouse, the Pilgrims, the Pomeranians, um, but ultimately it was the Pomeranians I chose. Another con is depending on what breed you choose, it could take a long time to be able to tell the males from the females. There are some auto sexing breeds, which is nice, but for these Pomeranians, it was a good seven or eight months before I could even start guessing which ones for the ganders. And even then I wasn't really sure. And my final con on my list is that geese are so loud. If you're a suburban homesteader with a backyard flock, I would not recommend getting geese if you have close neighbors, unless they're very forgiving. <laughs> Even at night when it's pitch black, if there's a disturbance, the geese are going to make that alert call and they're going to wake up the entire neighborhood. Our goose pen is clear on the other side of the yard on the other side of our pole barn compared to where our bedroom is. And I still can hear them through our window when they call in the middle of the night. So they can be extremely loud when they want to. Anytime there's a disturbance, if there's a loose dog, if there's a raccoon running through the yard, um, if someone's taking a late night run, the whole neighborhood's gonna find out about it. So um, definitely if you have close neighbors, I would not recommend geese because they will probably complain. <laughs> If you found this video to be helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It's a free way to help my channel out and I appreciate it so much. If you'd like to see more videos on homesteading, gardening, and poultry, be sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.